Hey, what is up YouTube? Colst here and I have a very, very special video. Actually, this might be the most excited I've ever been to actually record a video related to arena content because there are patch notes out today as of releasing this video, but the uh, bigger story actually is not in the patch notes. I have special permission from Blizzard to reveal kind of secret patch notes related to you know cheating in arena so this is the biggest step to date blizzard has taken in my opinion to directly mitigate you know cheating barcoding however you want to call it you should of course watch all my videos to the end but this will be one you'll specifically want to watch because this is exclusive info that has not been released anywhere else but by the way make sure you're subscribed and click the bell so you'll be notified anytime we have any kind of information like this and i don't want to bury the lead too much before we get there let's just really briefly cover the actual patch notes because this is uh this patch is a completely huge massive patch mostly for battlegrounds though but there are a couple of points for arena so we'll just go through that really quickly first of all there is a nerf to umpire's grasp the demon draw weapon sheet you know mana sheet thing from Demon Hunter is going from 3 mana to 4 mana, so that's still going to be that's relevant for Arena. A lot of your Demon Hunter decks would actually be built around this card as well. It's still going to be a good card, I think, at 4. It's going to be a lot worse, but it's still going to be good. You know, you can still curve straight into a Zillag, for example, right, if you have the right deck for it. So it's not like the card is unplayable suddenly. It's still going to be good, but... You'll maybe not want to take it in every deck. But as well, there's the arena update section specifically, which is on April 16th. All ongoing arena runs will end. A new arena season will begin. Like the current season, this season will include cards across all Hearthstone expansions. Each class will get their own curated list of cards in their card pool. The first pick of each arena draft will still be a legendary card. Legendary will be the only one you get off of deck. Okay, so nothing's changing except we know that the card pool is changing still going to be a curated pool like it is now but other than that i don't have actually any specific information on like how much is changing so we're just going to have to see with that we don't know if it's still going to be a really high power level meta like it is now mostly modern cards or if it's suddenly going to be like a lot weaker older cards we just don't really no. And by the way, what that does mean as well is because the season is ending, the leaderboard is going to reset. And as well, if you want a free pack, you're going to want to open a arena run. And as well, duels is dying officially with this update. So you probably want to open your last duels run as well to make sure uh, you get the free pack and the arena ticket back from that retiring as well because those are now going to just be arena tickets because there will be no more duels unfortunately but with that let's jump into the secret patch notes part of this video the hidden note we have here is that there is essentially a new jail queue for you know quote-unquote barcoders or cheaters in the arena and by the way i'll address since this isn't in the patch notes i have been told directly by blizzard they want us to know they want us to let you guys know but they just don't want the barcoders to know they actually want the barcoders to send themselves into this jail base so that's why it's not in the patch notes we've been told there will be an official blizzard post about this at some point but we don't know it'll be down the road at some point maybe in the next few weeks or so but they just haven't wanted to put it in the formal patch notes just for that reason and by the way, if you're wondering what I mean when I say like a barcode or a cheater kind of, I have multiple videos where I've talked about that, but essentially the idea is an arena, you know, these are people who are retiring a lot of decks to get stronger decks on average to, you know, have an unfair advantage and smash people in the game essentially. And it's not clear exactly how big of a problem this is. It is undeniable that there are there is a small population of players that really abuse it, though. And they, you know, they're mass retiring like 20 runs to maybe get one really strong deck. And those are people definitely getting impacted by this. It's also it's become a lot more common as well because people, you know, at least think this problem is happening as well. People are like, well, they're retiring, so I have to retire too, right? It's just it's making the whole arena environment worse for everyone. And the whole idea of this barcode queue, it's very analogous to like if you played a multiplayer game like a MOBA, for example, any game that has like a lever queue, that's something that punishes you if, you know, you have allies on your team in the multiplayer game and you leaving is going to negatively impact your team, right? It's going to punish you for that by putting you into a separate queue. They do it like this because, you know, retiring a lot of runs in Arena, you're not breaking TOS. Same thing, in the, at least in most multiplayer games, you're not technically violating the TOS if you just leave a game when you get mad or whatever either. But you are engaging in the game in a way that's 
harmful to a lot of the other people in your game. So that's why they have this to punish you for doing that. The same idea will be coming to Arena as well. And the way Blizzard has described this to me, basically, it's the same idea. It's like, you know, you can play with that playstyle if you want to, except now you're going to be off in the separate queue where you're playing with other people that are also engaging in that same playstyle. You may or may not like it. I mean, you can do it if you want, but we're just, you know, that's just going to be how it is now. And as well, I have one extra note sent to me directly by Blizzard about this. And as well, this isolated pool is not permanent and players will not be stuck in a quarantine. Routine arena play will have little, if any, impact on regular play. So let's dive into this. What does that mean exactly? From my understanding, what I've been told directly by Blizzard is that this is not a soft jail. As I said, you are in an isolated pool separate from the regular population. That means if you are in the barcode queue you or the cheater queue, you will not face regular players if you're also if you're in the regular queue you will not face mass retirers or chain retirers going to be straight up impossible and i don't think blizzard wants to reveal exactly what the conditions are of how you exactly get in or out of the queue but they've told us if you're engaging normally you're probably not going to get into the queue i would expect this is not something blizzard told me but just my speculation is that if you're in the queue you're probably going to know that you're in the queue because i would just guess that your queue times are going to be absolute hell and you are not going to like it and it's going to be a big disincentivizer for you know engaging in that kind of behavior however it does give me an idea would you for uh, co some content would you guys like to see me actually try to fight in the barcode queue let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see that i'll probably try at some point <laughs> where i intentionally put myself into that queue and try to play just to see what it's like but let me know if you are interested in that but anyway with that my personal thoughts on this i think it's really great because essentially what this really provides is true peace of mind because as of now i mean i think there's a lot of false positives frankly if you watch a lot of people they think they're always facing like mass retires and i think a lot of times it's just not really true so now it's going to be great because you literally know even if you face something completely crazy in arena well they couldn't have mass retired for it right they just got they, they may have gotten really lucky to have some super high roll deck but you know that they didn't cheat to do it effectively so i think that's really good it's just going to make everything feel a lot better and blizzards you know i i know they've tried like they've done a bunch of big bot ban waves they've been banning hundreds of thousands of bots lately i think they probably banned millions of them at this point i'm sure that's helped but this is the biggest thing because it really makes you know this kind of barcode style cheating effectively impossible people might still play botted accounts but to be honest it's like it, that, that's never really been a big thing to me i don't really care like i don't <laughs> at least myself i understand why blizzard cares they need to enforce their tos but i don't actually care if someone you know is using like botted gold or not in arena what i really do care about is that you know if people are retiring because that's making the game a whole lot worse because as they said in the dev comment as well you know when they click the retire button they're not giving those run those wins back to the arena population it just makes you know it harder for everyone makes it very unpleasant so it's really really great to see this change happen because it's really going to make the game i think a whole lot better this should really effectively put an end to this retire culture that's really become propagated so much at this point with that let me know what you guys think as well i hope you guys are excited as well to see this again this will be happening on the 16th the patch notes coming out now but the patch will actually be on the 16th which is next tuesday so very excited for that as well let me know what you guys think in the comment section below again appreciate you guys all hanging out like subscribe all these things all right we'll see you in the next one Bye bye